Yes, God family. Okay, we got live stream. Oh God. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday evening. Carousels and testimonials. I wanted to make myself available in case anybody had any questions about steaming or what it's about or how to do it or anything like that. Do you know what it is? V steaming is sitting yourself over a pot of herbs, allowing the medicinal benefits from the herbs to help to um, restore your first many things. Okay, so restore pH balance. It helps with um, restores blood flow circulation which helps to it we all need circulation that's a sign of a healthy person when they're when their blood is circulating so when you use heat um, in that area you get that stimulation of the blood flow which helps to move things such as fibroids cysts and things like that also um, the steam helps with the ph balance because um, of the bacteria a lot of times it's bacteria vaginosis um, but yeah, I just wanted to come up here and let you know that if you haven't been doing it, you should be because it's amazing. And especially if you're dealing with any womb issues such as fibroids, um, PCOS, endometriosis, BV, um, you may have just had a baby, you may be trying to conceive, you may be trying to let go of a soul tie, um, what a fuck boy, and you know, steaming can help all of those things. Yes, God. Mm. Does anybody have any questions? I'm waiting on my tea to finish. And then I'm going to go take a bath. And go to bed. Girl, it's and you know what? It's so easy to fall off. Even I have fallen off sometimes. And I'm just like, oh, because I got so much going on. Trust me, I know that life gets busy and... You know, steaming kind of falls to the bottom of the priority, but that's the whole point. You know, it's like we have to be very intentional and mindful to put ourselves up at the top. We have to be giving from a saucer, not a cup. Like our cup should be overflowing to the point and then we should be giving from the saucer. Nobody should be actually taking from our cup. So one of the ways that you can fill your cup is, yeah, self-care, you can go get a massage, you can go get your nails done, blah, 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 but really sitting still with yourself breathing with the steam because if you've ever steamed before you'll notice that the steam goes in rhythms kind of like the breath and just taking those deep breaths and taking that intentional 20 to 30 minutes to yourself i promise you you will feel rejuvenated and restored yeah my online shop is still open yes god wellness.com um how often would you recommend so that depends based on you know what what you're steaming um for if you are steaming just for maintenance you don't really have any like issues with your womb i steam probably two to three times a month um if you are dealing with something you should steam more often so fibroids i definitely recommend steaming at least three to four times per week um when you're steaming for fertility, you should only be steaming in your follicular phase. Um, excuse me, is it the follicular phase? Yes. You should not be, essentially, you should not be steaming once you ovulate. Once you ovulate until hopefully you conceive, then um, you, you shouldn't be steaming in that time period. Um, which blend promotes vaginal tightening? Girl, they all do. Any blend you use is going is that that's going to be a benefit. <laughs> any blend you any blend you choose. I personally my favorite blend that I love to use is Transform. I use your Steams Faithful after I had an abnormal pap after giving birth prior. Um wait, I used your Steams Faithfully after I had an abnormal pap after giving birth and prior to it always came back abnormal until I started using your Steams. I've been good ever since. Yes, God, honey. I love that. You know, I had to get a screenshot of that one, girl. That's the stuff I love to hear. Like, yes, 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 God. And that's the thing. We need to share, you know, how how it's benefited us, what it's done for us. I need to share. Let me let me rephrase that. I need to share. I need to continue to share my story. I need to continue to yell it from the mountaintops. 
Um, you know, I've had a very eventful past few years and, you know, I feel like I'm finally getting back to the place where I'm back to centering her, back to focusing on her. And one of the ways that you can easily, easily f put yourself first and center yourself and really start to release some trauma that you may not even be aware of um, is steaming. And, you know, when I when I went to steaming, it wasn't for all this like spiritual stuff. It was because I wanted my coochie tight. I just had a baby and I was over that nigga. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck. That's what that's what I came, brought me to steaming. And, you know, what I learned in the process of steaming was that it was so much more. It was so much more. And um, yes, God, I'm just I'm just grateful to be able to um, to to share. Let's see. Yep. So the online shop is definitely still open. Yes, God, wellness.com. Um, go ahead and check it out. The link in my bio is you can get there from there too. I have a free, um, I have a YouTube video that is a tutorial um, that shows you all the different ways you can steam from home. It doesn't need to be intimidating. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need anything special. I love the refresh blend. That one's too. That one's good too. Unsure if that's still the name. Yeah, this all still the name. Do I have a subscription? I took the subscription services off because I get off track when I forget to order. Um, if you're really interested in that, I can go ahead and re-add that to my Shopify store. That was something that I had for a little while. Um, and you know, people would sign up and then they would kind of cancel slowly. So I decided to take that off. But um you know what? I wonder I'm wondering if there's I wonder if there's I'm sure there's an app that I can use that where you can set your own time like, you know, whatever time frame that you want. Like maybe you want it every 2 months, maybe you want it every 3 months. Um depending on what you're steaming for, how many how much herbs you need and, you know, how often you're steaming obviously would dictate how how often you wanted to order and what your size of your order would be. Um, I've used your steams for my fibroid, but I've fallen off due to relocating and my sister told me the online store was closing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I did close it for a little bit. Um, I did take a little break, but baby, the store is still there. We are, we are back on and popping. Yeah. It's, it's going down. I, I had to give myself some time to focus and, and to fill my cup up, um, because I had so much things going on in my personal life that, you know, I, I didn't have it. I did not have it for my business. <laughs> I'm currently paying for the fall off. That's okay, girl. Just pick back up. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. And here's another t advice to tidbit for anyone who is dealing with fibroids, anyone who's dealing with um, any like diagnosis like this, do some fasting. You don't have to not eat for three days. You don't have to just eat between 12 and six. Eat between. I'm telling you, there has been countless, there's been a lot of really, really good feedback um, regarding t uh, fibroids from fasting. Because when you when you don't eat, your body is now, instead of digesting, it's focusing on, okay, what else can I do? And then it's like, oh, we got some stuff right here. Let's work on it. So I highly, highly, highly recommend um, fasting. Fasting. Um, let's see. Yay. Yeah. So the store is open. I see I got to, you know, and that's the thing I had to, like I was saying, sorry, I got distracted. I, you know, I had to take some time for myself and, and really give to myself because I was being stretched so thin in my personal life. And so I took a step back and, you know, what I, what I have discovered and, you know, I've always known, but really, really try to embody now is that Again, the analogy. Let me show y'all, matter of fact. I'm going to show you the analogy. Alright, here's the analogy, y'all. Okay. The analogy is this. This is you. Okay, this is us. This is a cup. This cup needs to be full in order for us to feel healthy, whole, balanced, at peace. Okay? Unfortunately, what happens a lot of times is once our cup starts getting filled up, here comes somebody. Oh, can I have a sip? I'm thirsty. Can I get some? Can I get some? Oh, can I have a little bit? I'm really, really thirsty. 
So the analogy looks like this, okay? If you want to help other people, you should only be feeding them from where? This overflow. See this? This right here is the only place that you should be feeding other people from. You should not be feeding people directly from your cup, okay? And you know, you can have a huge saucer. Your saucer could be a huge mixing bowl. It's fine, but you got to be full. If this is not full right here, you're going to be parched. You're going to be starving. You're going to be incomplete and you're going to be stressed out and you're going to be ill. So, you know, this is so, so important to, to really, really, really make sure that we are, okay, feeding people from the saucer, not the cup. Feeding people from the saucer, not the cup. If the cup is not full, that's the first priority. It's not to share. It's not to give away our tea. It's to fill that. It's to, it's to come back in and fill it back up, right? And you can do that through many different ways. You can do that through meditating. You can do that through affirming yourself. I love doing affirmations. I'm so excited about my new... So I wrote down my June um, goals for the new, for the new moon. And I, I took my goals and then out of those goals, I created affirmations from them. So I essentially was like, okay, this is what I want. So if that was already true, what would the affirmation be? And it was things like, oh, I love having this. I love being here. I love being. So it was, it was like my affirmation started with I love to imply that like it's already here and I love it. And so what I did was I recorded myself um, saying my affirmations was about four minutes long. I uploaded the video to YouTube unlisted private. Nobody has it unless I give you the link for it. And then what happens is you can now I can listen to it. So before I go to bed, I listen to my hair. Let me tell you, show you. I listen to my own voice. Where is it? Literally. I love how people keep asking me what I'm doing because I look great and I've lost so much weight. It feels good to be seen and acknowledged for my hard work. Discipline. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put y'all all in my business with my affirmations, but <clears throat> this is, I, I, I do this, y'all. Like, this is not just me saying this and being like, oh, you guys should really do this. It really works. No, like, all I'm here to do is just share my story and what works for me. That's it. My hope and my intention and my prayer is that it can help and work for you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Can I still manifest for this moon? Absolutely. I mean, the, the, so the new moon happened, what, on Friday? It is Monday. The energy is still there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think there's any way, there's any time you can, excuse me, let me, let me rephrase that. There is no time that you are not manifesting. OK, there is no time that you're not manifesting. You are always manifesting what you are manifesting is a different story. OK, because the reality, the life that we see, the experiences that we have, <clears throat> those are all results of what's happening in our internal state. What are our expectations? What is our subconscious program? What are, what are we you know, what have our experiences told us that we're not safe and what we're safe? If we were raised with parents who were emotionally unavailable, then guess what? Emotional unavailability feels safe to us. OK, so it's very important to be mindful of yourself and know that, you know, we all have some things that need to be reprogrammed, you know, and the thing is, is through the reticular activating system, it's so important for you to focus on what you do want versus what you don't. So when you're complaining, when you're venting, when you are, you know, when you're talking shit, whatever you are manifesting with those words. So it's very, very important to be careful of the words that are not just coming out your mouth, but the, more importantly, the conversation and the words that are going on in your mind. Because that's where the magic happens. That's where creation is happening. And that is why affirmations are so powerful. Because, you know, and the subconscious is a stubborn motherfucker. Like, you gotta, that's why I make stuff and I just put it on repeat. You gonna hear that all night. I don't care. All day. Some days... I'll listen to my music, I'll put my music low, and then I'll put my affirmations on, and I'll just let it loop all day. I'll let it loop all day. Uh, what do you recommend for hormonal balance? So I definitely, you know, there's different herbs you can take. I know black cohosh is helpful, and um, I know that, excuse me, 
I think first things first with hormonal balance is that you can get a, a panel done to see where your hormones are, to see what's not balanced, and then start from there to see what needs to be balanced. You're so welcome. You're so welcome, y'all. I'm so happy that, um, I'm so happy to be back. Like, you know, I, I really, I really was really frustrated <laughs> that I couldn't give myself to my business the way I had before and that, you know, what I intended for myself and, you know, my marriage and my life did not pan out the way it was. Um, however, you know, acceptance, it is what it is. And now we move forward. And so, you know, I had to take some time to, to really, again, pour this, pour, I needed, I needed to get it to the point where it was overflowing so now I can be bucking, <laughs> bucking on the internet. Like, you know what I mean? I, I needed that. Um, glad you're back, missed your energy. Yay, thank you. I missed you guys too. I love my Yes God family so much. I really do. I'm I'm so, so humbled and so grateful. You know, sometimes even now I'm like, I have a business? I have a business? And it's like a good business and like it helps people and you know, there's, there's, a, I've met so many women around the, around the world, not even just the country, the world. I've met women from around the world. I've had women fly in to where, in, to North Carolina to come steam with me. I mean, it's, it's been incredible. It's been incredible. And, you know, sometimes you just have to say, you have to bite the bullet and bet on yourself. You know, whatever it is, whatever you're passionate about, whatever it is that you could talk about and, and tell people about all day for free. What your passion and your interest is, that's where the direction you should be looking for, for your purpose. Yes, God. All right, y'all. I love you guys so much. It was really nice chatting with everybody. Um, I plan on coming live a lot more often. I really want get, to get back and get connected with everybody because I miss you guys. I miss you gals. Excuse me. Um, any other questions before I go? Oh, you did? You were in NC? Where did you move to? My OCD is so annoyed by this saucer, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, it's a mess. I gotta go get some paper towel. Sorry. That's really hot. We gonna... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. North Carolina. I love North Carolina. I'm a New Yorker, but I love North Carolina. Um, Maryland. Okay, Maryland. Yes, God. Do you like it? Do you like the move? Quick question. The, is it wash on the site? Yep, the wash is on the site. The wash is on the site. Um, the herbs are on the site. Everything's there. The detox foot soak, the tea, the honey butter, everything is still there. So please, um, I see that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention that you thought that that you thought the store was closed because that means that I need to put more energy and intention into making people aware that I'm still here and the store is open. Okay. Thank you so much, y'all. I really, really appreciate your time. Now let's all get off social media and go to bed, <laughs> and don't scroll because. You know, you need the, the time before you go to bed is so important, y'all. Like you need something telling you, like, I don't care. Like I said, every day in every way, everything gets better and better. Every day in every way, everything gets better and better. Every day in every way, everything gets better and better. You don't need a long list. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need anything crazy. Every day in every way, everything gets better and better. Say that a hundred times to yourself as you fall asleep. No, but my family is here. I didn't have anyone in this. I understand that. Definitely understand that. And you need that support system. All right. All right. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.